Yes, my name is uh, Jeremiah Christopher from Edukea, Tanzania. So, let me welcome you to this session to see a new topic which is sustainable fishing. So, as we know that fishing is among the economic sector which many countries across the world depending on it. So, by starting to see the definitions of fishing, refer to the activity or activities that involve establishment, development and exploitation of different fish resources. Here is where the different fish resources are tend to be exploited. So, as we know that across the world, many countries practice this kind of economic activities. This is simply because fishing played the great role to the development of the economy. So, many countries across the world practice this kind of economic activities. For example, in East Africa, we practice fishing activities. Also, there are the fishing activities that we practice in Japan. Also, Norway practice fishing activities and etc. So, fishing in general means is where the fish resources tend to be exploited due to the development of the certain nation. So, this is carried out in the water bodies, both man made and the natural occurrence. So, as we know that this kind of activities is operated within the water bodies. As we know that the fishing depend on the presence of water bodies in order for it to take place. So, and it can be carried out to the water bodies that is both man-made and non-man-made. So, that is a short explanation concerning about the fishing. Also, fishing has developed much in the world, especially in the temperate region where water is cool and the fishing ground are many. So, this kind of activity is operated more to the areas that have been the condition of temperature. It is due to the simply because the areas that are having the temperature favor the activities of fishing to take place compared to that to those other areas that they do not have in the temperature so fishing is really developed in the country like norway japan canada russia and the other african countries like south africa namibia and angola so this kind of activities operated to the different countries like Norway practice the fishing activities, Japan also practice the fishing activities, Canada also practice fishing activities, Russia also practice fishing activities, and other African countries like South Africa, Namibia, and Angola. Those are samples of the country that is practicing the fishing activities. So, in the East African fishing industry is not well developed despite having many water bodies and the long coastal line. So, as we know that in East Africans are those countries that is in developing way. So, still, but we having the, the many large water bodies, but also still the fishing industry is not well developed compared to the other countries. So, there is a different reasons or problems that facing the fishing activities developing in East African country. So, let us now continue to see. Fishing is referred to as a robbery industry because in many parts of the world, the catching is not balanced by re replenishing the fishing stock. So, many countries involved in the fishing activities. So, the fishing industry act as a robbery industry since many countries involved in this kind of activities. Hence, for the purpose of to run the economy, as you know, that fishing is among the sectors which enhance the development to take place in the certain countries. So, many countries tend to engage in fishing, and hence, fishing is referred as a robbery industry across the world. So. This has been due to the introduction of faster and more powerful fishing vessels and modern fishing equipment. So, fishing 
infrastructure as robbery industry. This is simply because in the sectors of fishing there are some countries that develop the, their science and the technology which encourage more the development of fishing. So if the equip equipment that are used in the fishing activities is well improved or advanced well, it facilitated much to the development of fishing since due to the presence of those equipment increasing the demand of more food needed for the burgeoning. So those are the, those are the factors or those are the things that we are going to see why the fishing is the act of the robbery industry across the world. Also, hence fishing is excessive compared to the replacement by reproduction. Also, the, these activities tend to develop see, and tend to be ex, ex, excessive due to the, the development of technology in the sector of fishing. There are some countries that develop more in the sector of fishing and has contributed much in to the development of the nation. So, let us now see that as the conditions that favor this kind of activities to take place. As we know that the, there are different activities that is practiced across the world. For example, agriculture. Agriculture is among the activities that is practiced across the world. And agriculture, there is a condition that favor the agriculture to take place at the southern area. For example, the area that is receiving the heavy rainfall is where the agriculture can be practiced well. Also now in the fishing sector, there is a condition that plays a great role to favor the fishing activities to take place. So let's just now see what are those conditions that play the great rules to favor the fishing activities to take place. So, the first one is cool climate. As we know that climate is among the driving factors that, that lead to the development of different economic sectors, not only fishing. Even climate contributed much also to the development of other sectors like agriculture, mining, and etc. So let us now see the short explanation concerning about the fishing on how climate contributed to act as a factors or conditions that favor the fishing to take place in the certain area. So cool climate with temperature lower than, than 20 centigrade, the cool water of temperature seas are more suited for the breeding of fishes than the tropical water. So the area that having the temperature lower than 20 centigrade tend to favor more the fishing to be Produced there, it is simply because the breeding of fish take place faster compared to the tropical water. So the area that is having temperature lower than 20 centigrade tend to having the more fishes compared to the area that is in tropical water. So valuable species like salmon, cod, herring, head rock, and the mackerel are found in the temperature. Area. So those are samples of species that is found in the temperature area that is well good for fishing activities take place there. So the areas that having the low temperature of 20 centigrade tend to having more fishes compared to the area of tropical region. So another is availability of plankton. Plankton also play the good role to the development or after the factor that favor the fishing activities to take place in the certain area. So plankton are used as food by fish and hence fish are plentiful where there is a lot of plankton. So in order for the increasing of fishes in, in, the, in the water bodies, it should be having the food that sustain the life, the, the, the life of fish. So, Due to the presence of plankton, as we know that the plankton is active as the food for fish. So fish tend to use the plankton as a food and hence fish are plentiful where there is a lot of plankton. So the area that having a lot of plankton tend to having many fish compared to the area that do not have many plankton. This is simply because fish use plankton as a source of food and etc. So 
planktonic flourishes and are cool and shallow water and in the presence of plenty of mineral salt. So this plankton sent to fall to, the, to those areas that having the cool and the shallow water and in the presence of plenty of minerals salt. So we see another condition that favor the fishes to occur in certain area is plankton which in which the fish use it as a source of food. That is another condition that favor the development of fishing industry. Another one is physical environment along the coastal characterized by identifications provide ideal site for poti. Some of the greatest fishing port of the world like St. John's, Newfoundland and Persian Norway are found along the intended coast line. So the environmental factor is among the conditions that they played the great role to favor the development of fish industry in a certain area. For example, no, in Norway and in St. John's Forty favor the development of fishing taking place there since there is, a, there is many coastlines that is found across the, these areas of Norway and the new phone land that is St. John and etc. So the environmental factor is among the factor that favor the development of fishing industry in the country. So let us after finishing to see those those conditions that favor the development of fish in the certain area. So let us now see types of fish. There is a different types of fish across the world. There is a kind of this fish that is found in, the, in this area when you go at the another area, there is no that kind of fish. So the, there are the different fishes, types of fishes that are across the world. So let us see one after another. So there are the three categories of fish that are salty water fish, fresh water fish, and the anandromous fish. So the point to note here is that there are the three types of fish. The first one is salty water fish. The second one is the fresh water fish and the third one is the anod anodromous fish. So you have to put it in your mind that there are three types of fish. That is the fresh water fish, also there is a there is a salty water fish and the anodromous fish. Those are the kind of fish that is found across the world. So let us now briefly explain one after another type. So the first one is salty water fish. Includes the fishy species that lives in the seas and the ocean and the salty lakes. These are the kind of fish that have in the salty minerals. So they found in the areas where there is where there is salty. So for example, in the ocean, as you know that in the ocean there is salty. So if there is salty, automatically you are going to find this kind of fish that is will live that will live there. So salty water fishes are those kind of fishes that live to the water bodies that having some content of salty. For example in the ocean sea you will find the those salt water fish. Also in the in, in the herring sea which in the most common in Norway, Iceland, Sweden, Japan and China is an example of salty water fish. So those are some sort of areas that this kind of fish are found. For example, in Norway, we will find this the salty water fish. Also in Iceland, also we will find this kind of fish. Also in Sweden, also we will find the salty water fish. Japan, also we will find the salty water fish, fish as well as China. Also, act as an example that show there is a salty water fish. So. The point to note that is here, this kind of fish are those fish that is found in the ocean sea and the salty lake and etc. So that is a short explanation concerning about the salty water fish. So salty water fish can be divided into different types. So let's just now see the divisions of this kind of fish which is salty water fish. The first one is 
pelagic species. Pelagic species is the category or, or the, the divisions of salty water fish. So the species that live close to the surface water of the ocean and the sea. So this is kind of the species that is live nearest to the surface of the ocean. So the pelagenic species are the kind of species that live the nearest to the surface of the ocean and the sea. So they move in large shows. This kind of fish they tend to move in large shows. So the most common species are herring and mackerel found in the Mediterranean Sea. So these are the kinds or samples of pelagenic species which is herring and mackerel that is found in the Mediterranean Sea and of the coast of the Western Europe. So when we go to these areas of Mediterranean Sea and of the coast of the Western Europe, we are going to find the pelagic species that is found in this area. Also, sardines found in the Mediterranean Sea. Also, this is, a, this is another kind of pelagic species that is found in the Mediterranean Sea. So, New England and North America Achovis, small fish, male kochi of the coast of Peru. So those are the explanations concerns about the pelagic species. That is a division. That is among the division of salty water fishing. So those are the short explanations concerning about the salty water fish. We see that the among the division is the pelagic species. So another is. The the meso species, also this is another division of salty water fish. This is a kind of species that found at the bottom of the sea and ocean. As you see, pelagic species is found the nearest to the surface of the oceans or sea. But this is the vice versa. While the meso species, this is a kind of species that is found at the bottom of the sea or ocean. So this kind of fish that is found at the bottom or or at the bottom part of the sea or the ocean, but the pelagenic is one that is found to the nearest to the surface. So you see now this is the first versa of pelagenic. So the most important species include cod. So the sample of the demenso species is called cod, which is large fish of 1.5 meters, meters long used for extracting oil. So it is mainly fished from the North Sea of the coast of Norway. This kind of, sea, this kind of species, it is really, it is really found in those areas like Norway and Iceland are some of countries that fish this kind of species. So other dimensions fish species are tuna, others dimensions species that is found in the, that is found there or act as a sample of dimension species are tuna, haddock, hack snapper group and halibut these are the samples of species that is found in dimension species so these are fish of the coast of the british columbia these species that is tuna haddock hack snapper these are the kind of species that is found inside the the coast of british columbia so those are the sort of expression concerned about the dimension species so remember still now we are looking the different divisions of salty water fish also let us now see another type is fresh water fish fresh water fish the point to note here is that we have already finished to see we see salty water fish that we say are those kind of fish that is found across the oceans or the lakes that having the, some content of the salt. So let us now run to the other part to see what are the freshwater fish. This includes the species that live in the lake sea like Tanganyika and Victoria. So this freshwater fish is a kind of fish that is found in the lakes. For example, Tanganyika, when you go to Tanganyika, you are going to get the sample of freshwater fish also in Lake Victoria, also there is a freshwater fish, Edward, Albert, and Turkana, and the river like Ugala rivers also, you will get the freshwater fish, as well as the Rufiji river and the Kagera rivers, also you're going to see there is a 
fresh water fish. So these are samples of areas where fresh water fish is found. For example, Lake Tanganyika, there is a fresh water fish. Victoria, there is a fresh water fish. Edward, Albert, and Turkana also are the sample of Lake Zati. There is a fresh water fish. Also, rivers like the Ugala River. Ugala River, also, we are going to see there is a fresh water fish as well as Rufiji and the Kagera River. So, they are not as important as the salt water species and they do not swim in the shore. As we see that those fishes that is found in salt water fish, they tend to move or to swim in the long shore. But the fresh water fish, this is a kind of fish that is not tend to move at the long shore. So this kind of fish is moving in a short shore compared to those of salty water fish. So, Freshwater fishing in Europe and USA is a part-time occupation. So this is not found much in those areas of USA and Europe rather than the salty water fishing. That is practiced to those countries like Norway, Europe and others part of the world. So in USA it takes place in the Great Lakes, for example, Michigan, Huron, Hesperia. So the freshwater fishing. This is kind of this is kind of fishing that is taking place in those areas like Michigan that is found in USA, also Huron, Sperios area, and Ontario. This is a kind of place that is found in USA where there, there is this, where there is a freshwater fish. So these are the most important inland fishing ground. The species found are so the species that you found in the is the salty water fishes are perchy, pikey, trout and the salmon that are the samples of the, the species that you found in the fresh water fish. So in Russia, Japan and China island fishing is important. So this kind of fishing in the, in the countries like Russia, Japan and China it is very important to the, to, the, to the economy. So inland fishing in Africa takes place in the Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika, Lake Malawi, Lake Turkana, where Nile perch is fished in the Lake Naivasha. So as we see that these freshwater fishes are practiced or are found in the, in, in the areas like Lake Tanganyika, there is a freshwater fish. Also Lake Victoria, there is a freshwater fish. Also, Lake Turkana, Lake Malawi, there is a, those fresh water fish and etc. So, that is a second type C of fish. So, another is anodromous fishing. This is a species spawned in a river but spend their lifetime in the ocean and the sea. This kind of fish you are going to see is right. They, they are found in rivers but most of the time spend their life in the oceans or See, so the most common species include salmon. Salmon is samples of anadromous fishing. So this is most fished in North America. This kind of species that is salmon is most found in the part of North America. So salmons travel in large numbers. So this kind of this kind of species tend to travel in terms of large number. So also fished, it can be conserved well fresh or sometimes smoked and canned. So there are canning factories in Canada. So fishing, we are up to to see up to, to up to up to up to reach at these areas now. We have already finished to talk. To, we, not, we have already things all finished to talk to see what are those type of fish. We say there is an anadromous fish. Also there is a salty water fish, also there is fresh water fish and etc. So fishing method is used include. So this fishing is the, there are the different methods that is used in the fishing cell. So after finishing to see those types of fishing, oh, let us now see what are the methods that they are used in fishing. There is a method that they are used to exploiting these kinds of fish from the, from the water. So the first method that is used in fishing 
is the drifting in which the drift net hang vertically like the table tennis as we, as we, as we see this the table tennis that is hang vertically so this kind of this kind of method that that, that, that drift, drifting tend to hang vertically drift, that is is that is that equipment that you see the fishing is drift net that is hang vertically so the drift net tend to be hanged vertically like the table tennis so the method is used in catching pelagic fish so this is a sample fish that is catched through the use of drift net so the fish gills are caught in the mesh when the fish is trying to swim across the drift net so if the pelagic, pelagic fish try to swim in the drift net it 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 is gills tend to be caught in the mesh when he try to to swim across the, the drift net so drifting is among the methods that used for the fishing another is the trawling trawling also in which the trawl net is used so in trawling we use the trawl nets but in the drifting using we are using the drift net but another method of fishing is trawl, trawling where the trawl net is going to be used as a means of catching those fish so this is bag shaped net used in catching the Demesis fish as in drag by using the trawler. So the trawler net is one that is going to be used as a common equipment in catching those fish. So we see the first method is the drifting where the drift net is going to use the in catching fish. Also the trawling is another method where the trawl net is going to use in catching fish. So the third one is the seining that involves the use of howl sail and pass sail. So in sailing, we are going to use the hull sail and the post sail as a means of catching those fish. So they having intermediate features between a drift net and the trawler. So hull sail net look like a drift net but is smaller and pass. So the the hull sails act looks like the drift net but they tend to differ in terms of size. The drift net is larger but the how sense tend to look smaller and person net look like a troll so net but also smaller in size so the same there is a how sense tend to looks like a drift net or also can act to look like the troll net but differ in terms of size whereby the how sense is look is look smaller than drift and the trawler net. So the same net is put to the to surround the shore of fish. It is used by fishermen in a small boat or by the land based fishermen. So the sails hole is used by the fishermen through the use of small boat and etc. So those are the those are the methods of fishing. Another method of fishing is lining method in which lines fitted with hook are used to catch fish. So in lining is where the hook is used to catch the fish. So it is used where the trawler and the sand net cannot be used, especially where the rise sea flow is rigid. So now the point to note that is here. This lining method you apply the area where the trawl or and the sail method cannot be used so when you use this kind of method see that area or that area that using the lining method automatically the trawler and the sailing nets cannot be able to be used as a means of fishing so it is used for a large fish like tuna this kind of methods tend to catch the large fishes like tuna so Two types of line are used that is hard lining, hand lining, whole line, which is lining with a single belt hook cast from the deck. So it can be drawn from the water. So that hard line, which having the single belted hook, tend to be drawn down in the water and the float indicates that the fish has the been hooked. So there is a float that is it is in the water. So when tend to damage it act as a signal that fish is hooked. So it is popular for 
sport fishing, but uh, an economical. Long line is associated with many uh, hooks, so which attract the, which attach the to it. So lining also is another method that is used for. So after finishing to see those method of fishing, we see there is a drifting method that is used in fishing where the drift net is used as a means of fishing. Also we see there are trawling methods that are used in the fishing. Also we see there is a walling method that is used in fishing, especially in Japan is among the countries that is using walling method as a common method used in the fishing. So also there is other methods which are used especially in East Africans. For example, in our developing countries like Tanzania, Uganda and Kenya, they use uh, bows, arrows and spear as the means of the fishing. But uh, this kind of method is not uh, developed uh, more as a drifting and uh, walling method. So, the, the use of basket and uh, fish traps, snook trap, cast net, called uh, kitagala. Kitagala is a name that represents this equipment that is fish track, snook net, uh, and the cast net that are used in fishing and this kind of equipment are especially used in the developing in, in the developing countries like Tanzania, Kenya and Uganda. So in Lake Victoria gills net and the use of poisonous chemical and dynamics as it is being done along the coast. So even this kind of harmful methods like the use of atomic bomb or dynamic C is among the, the methods that is not well in the fishing activities. So most of traditional methods are destructive to the fish species and their habitat. So there is a kind of method which is harmful to the lives of fishes that is going to distract the habitant of fish and hence act as a barrier for fish to produce. So, so after finishing to see those different methods that are used in fishing, let us now give you the exercise and we will see it in the next sessions. The exercise or the questions need you to, ex to briefly explain the methods that are used in fishing. So here we are going to see what are those methods that are used in the fishing. So thank you for your cooperation. See you later.